Two Kansas City, Kansas police officers being disciplined tonight for using the techniques that the department says were not approved of following the takedown of a suspected shoplifter. Fox 4 problem solver Linda Wager has been following this today. She's here now with details and video of the incident that started with the purchase, Linda, of a $5 pizza. That's right. Police thought they had nabbed a shoplifter, but police were wrong. Can you have him read the receipt? This was the scene at Walmart when Kansas City, Kansas police officers tried to arrest a man they erroneously believed had stolen a $5 pizza. Get over here. Read my receipt. Read it. You can see the man throw the receipt on the ground as the first officer, who was off duty and had been working security at the store, pins him to the ground. Two other officers arrive. One puts his knee on the suspect's neck. A police move banned in most departments after the death of George Floyd. Wow. He keeps it there for seven seconds as a gathering crowd of shoppers starts to yell and scream. Jocelyn Hernandez was one of them. I was like, well, we have to do something like it's not right. He has his receipt. In fact, she and her mom had been standing next to him in the self-checkout and saw him pay. There you go. It wasn't until after police took the suspect to a police car that an officer finally picked up the receipt and read it, realizing that the man had paid for the pizza. Dayton Borisouth is that man. He'd driven to Walmart to help his uncle jumpstart his car and had dashed inside to buy something for dinner. As I'm walking out of self-checkout, I seen an officer and he's like, he's looking at me with like a, an, an angry look and I was just like confused. As he reaches the door to leave, the officer accused him of not paying for the pizza. I said, yeah, I did. The receipt's in my pocket. I was like, but you don't have the right to detain me. That's when it got ugly. The officer called for backup and this cop arrives far more aggressive than the other two, threatening to break Boris South's nose, break your nose. Do it now. No. and then placing his knee on Boris South's neck. Yeah, that's why I screamed because of how bad it hurt. I don't I don't scream unless something like hurts incredibly. It was then that he began to worry he would never see his wife or children again. His pregnant wife, Viviana, wasn't there, but she's seen the video. Seeing the officer have his knee on his neck and hearing him scream in pain, because that's, that's not something you want to hear, like hear your husband go through that and see that. And then also hearing, the, hearing him say that he, um, sorry, <laughs> that he just wanted to get home to his wife and kid. Cause you know, you, you see all these kinds of stuff on the internet, kind of like what happened to George Floyd. Fox or Problem Solvers also showed the video to Ed Obayashi, a 20 year law enforcement officer in California and a national expert on police use of force. Uh, that particular option, force option has been, uh, you know, uh, held um, or deemed illegal in many states. Obayashi, who watched three videos of the incident, said none showed any reason to justify that level of force. I don't see a reason, a legal reason, uh, or even a policy reason why an officer would apply a knee to an individual's neck. KCK's own use of force policies on its website mentions that its policies were updated after George Floyd's death. It bans chokeholds and strangleholds, and officers are supposed to exhaust all alternatives before using deadly force. As for Boris South, police let him go that night, but still gave him a ticket for hindering an investigation. Police tell us that that charge has now been dropped. KCK police that after an investigation, it is disciplining two of the officers involved and released this statement. The investigation revealed a chain of events and responses that culminated in the altercation viewed by many. When requested the receipt, the, when the officer requested the receipt, the individual refused, became belligerent, and continued out the door despite the officer's verbal commands. It is our determination that the officer should have disengaged at that time. The investigation also concluded that one of the responding officers employed techniques that are not approved nor trained by the department. Now, I also contacted Walmart twice for comment on this story. I have yet to hear back. Linda Wager, Linda, thanks.